Mamad Zara from Team Polgar. Uh, I think she's, uh, um, yeah, pretty pretty decent. I am uh, from from Azerbaijan, uh, and uh, thank the first board of Azerbaijan's women women's team. And I think she she is still a junior or close to it. And uh, as far as I know, a pretty aggressive player. Let's play an old banter blitz favorite of mine, the the old Scandinavian. And yeah, uh, don't take, pay too much attention to the ratings in general. A lot of them are provisional, and they don't make any make it make any sense. Yeah, H three, I guess, is a reasonable move. I see, I've seen some people play that. Guess I should go bishop f five to develop, and knight d seven, and. I'm not sure I like castling kingside there, it feels a little bit too soft. So now I get easy development and then... Yeah, she's probably slightly better, but I have what I wanted from the opening, which is a very solid and playable position. Guess I'll go rook e8 and then rook d8 later on, maybe? But in general, she has a slight sp space advantage, but I don't think she can use it for, for much. Meanwhile, my position is very solid. Bishop f4, I can go queen b4, so I'm not really worried about my queen here. I also don't really think any knight f7 and g4 is gonna work. Um, obviously, I could be eating eating my words later. Always have to prepare for that possibility. I think I'll trade for now. Don't love the bishop coming to e5, but it's take it's sake. Makes an air for the king. Um, maybe uh, rook d7 next move to make room for the um, queen on d8. Like a little mini plan here. Then bishop d6, challenging, challenging, challenging the bishop. Seems reasonable. Also potentially rook d8. And again, I don't think she has any tactics here with bishop e6. So I think she's. Uh, Mm, there are, maybe there are some tactics here, like queen d8, d5, and knight d5, knight d5, cd5, bishop a4, with uh, winning the exchange. So, even in apparently very dry positions, there are sometimes tactics. Now, I will go bishop g6, and I think that's, in general, not undesirable, and there are ideas of bishop h5 potentially forcing uh, potentially forcing g4. Uh, obviously now, um, now that she's gone rook d2, that's not an issue anymore. Okay, let's go queen d8. Continue with the uh, with the plan. Then bishop d6. If bishop uh, d f6, I'm pretty happy to trade and play an ending. Guess. Oh, this is a tricky move order. The thing is, I would love to go bishop d3 and then take an e5. But bishop e5, uh, d5, bishop d3, I guess. Ef6 is an issue. If bishop d3, she can take an f6 and force an equal ending. Okay, so she did, did play this well. Okay, she took immediately, so I could have spared myself that whole that whole speech. Okay, let's simplify it again. Oh, she doesn't even trade. Okay. It's interesting. I'm not sure it's good. I think my position is very solid here. And the knight on d6 in itself is uh, not gonna not gonna do any damage. I have to play faster. Okay, let's see. Let's bring the knight to b5. Let's see. Four comes logical. Let's see. Five. Okay, she trades now. Fe3, yeah, Fe3 is probably good. She's playing this well. She's playing this really well. B6, okay, time is becoming a serious issue here as well. C5. Let's try and bring the knight around. Okay, let's instead go for F6. B4 I'll take. 
looks reasonable for bringing the knight to d4, but obviously time is more than a serious issue at this point. Okay. I'll have to hustle her. Not taking a draw, even though I'm low on time with uh, no advantage. Okay, knight to b4. Let's go. Take, take, take. Take the rook. She's collapsing. I'm collapsing a bit as well. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, there we have checkmate. Okay, okay. Oh well, oh well. Oh well. I wasn't very good. I was just um, a little more hustle, as I talked about earlier. The scramble was decent. Not penguin level, but very decent. But before that, she played. Uh, she played a great game, and she was she was better, and uh, deserved more than an unceremonious flag. To be fair.